guys, welcome back to another video. Now my E46 drift car has had a little issue, but I think I figured it out. It's been intermittently down on power and also it's been dying whenever I pull up at red lights. Did a little research and I think I figured out the issue. It is the cam sensors. So right in front of me, we have the intake cam and we have the exhaust cam. I got these off FCP Euro, only run the good stuff for the cam sensors. That's very important. So I'll leave a link down in the description of where I picked these up at. But here she is, 2001 BMW 330i. Let's get into this M54 and replace these sensors. Here's the glorious M54 B30 engine. Absolutely a stout little motor. Intake cam, we're doing that one first. That's the more difficult one. Let's look in here. And where it lies is right behind this Vano solenoid. So this is a big wrench. We're going to take that off. You can see it. Very, very so slightly right behind there. However, we got to unplug the sensor first, which runs all the way back down and way down in here. I'm going to try to zoom and point. You see that little clip right where it's focused? Right here. I'm going to have to kind of fish my hand down in there and disconnect that cable. Uh, you can kind of see it run along here. So just kind of follow it to where it ends. The way you disconnect these connectors is you push the silver thing down and then pull out. And to reconnect them, and it should pop back up. To reconnect, you simply just push it in. You'll hear it click. Good as new. I just got the sensor unplugged. Now I'm going to move on to this solenoid here. We're also going to take off this vacuum hose. There it is. And then I'm going to go and use a one and one quarter inch wrench. I think it's also a 32. Um, it shouldn't be on here too terribly tight. As long as we can fit this on here. I don't want to, I'm going to try not to take this out if I, uh, if I can. There it is. Real nice and easy. Set that off to the side. Let me get a rag before we leak all the oil. Before I do that, I'm going to unplug this uh, Vano solenoid so we don't twist that wire up too much. Cannot forget to plug this back in. It is unplugged. It's sitting right there. Let's go ahead and unscrew it. Please don't puke up too much oil. Oh, it's mint. Okay. Now we have this. Let's go ahead and set that off to the side. Somewhere clean. And now you can get a good look right here. That is the intake cam position sensor. I believe it's a little five millimeter hex. Well, I was trying to avoid having to take this oil filter off, but it looks like <laughs> we're gonna have to do that. With the filter removed, now I can easily fit my ratchet in here with my socket. So this is the only bolt holding on the intake uh, cam sensor. So now we should be able to kind of wiggle her free. There is an O-ring on it. Might even gently, gently pry against it just a little bit. There it goes, perfect. Now as I'm pulling that cable, I'm kind of noting where it's coming from. So that way I can feed the new one in the same way. I just got the old one out. So it's time to put the new one on. Here's the old one. We're gonna go ahead and kind of toss that to the side. The new one does come with an O-ring already, which is super nice. I wasn't aware of that. So I ordered a couple extras, but that's okay. So just comparison, they are the same, which is good. Always wanna make sure you replace the same parts. I'm gonna go ahead and lube up the O-ring just a little bit with some oil. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fish that line through just where I pulled it out. Plop it back in, and then we're gonna go ahead and reach my little hand down in there, connect it back up. Intake side is officially done. It's time to move on to the exhaust side. This one's a little guy. There's not a long wire to it. Just a short, a little shorty, and it sits right on this side. Uh, I'm gonna try not to remove the radiator shroud and the radiator. I don't think you have to. I'm gonna get in here. I believe it's another five millimeter hex. I'm gonna get you up here. Let's go and pop this new one out. Get it ready with that O-ring so we can pop the old one out. Swap it out real quick. Guys, if you've not already, make sure to go subscribe. We got a lot of BMW stuff here on the channel. We got a lot of stuff planned for the future. Make sure you subscribe. Also, give the video a thumbs up. It helps a lot more people find the video and the channel and helps us grow. So right here where I'm pointing to is the little connector. It's kind of hard to focus on it. First step, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it. I'm gonna pinch the sides of it at first and see if I can wiggle it out. It would be easy if you remove the shroud. However, I really, I really don't wanna take it out. So I'm gonna see if I can just wiggle its way out, pinching the sides and then pulling back on it. Mm, it's pretty tight. Now, I'm gonna get that little five millimeter hex. It's kind of underneath it. So it's kind of hard to see. You're gonna have to kind of feel it. I'm gonna put my little socket in it first. All right, I'm taking the fan out. I tried. So I just got the old sensor out. I had an issue with stripping this little hex bolt out. If you can see the top of that bolt, I ended up having to cut it. So that's just a little reminder to uh, take your time and not strip that little hex bolt. It's super easy to uh, strip. I, I guess it was either from all the heat from the exhaust or whatnot, so I had to take my little Dremel after it was stripped and uh, get it out of there. But we got it out, ended up destroying the old sensor in the process, but that is okay. I got a fresh bolt here and the new sensor, we're just gonna go ahead and plop it back in. With it out, you can kind of see the location of it a little bit better. One bolt and then plug it back in.
Alrighty, just wrapping up the install on the 330. Everything came out really nice. This is a super easy job to do. Again, I'll leave some links down in the description. However, there's one last thing I need to do to finish this up. And that is to go into my little code scanner here and clear that cam code. Alrighty guys, that is gonna do it for the E46 cam sensor install. If this video helped you out at all, make sure to let us know down in the comments below. Also let us know what else you guys wanna see for the E46. We got a lot more stuff coming for the channel. Thanks for watching guys. Catch you guys right. next video. That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, coming down like precipitation.